break, cause this 38 will be designated for all those that hate it. Like a chess man, I don't contemplate it. Your moves, you lose, now your hot, you gave me new moves. More dudes, now the top, you made me same rules, new crews, now the first. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. I'm Van, and we are all the LFR family. I'm here with my guy, LFR Jojo. No cap. LFR Jojo. And, and uh, this is my son right here, and he is killing it on his own channel. But one thing he has not checked out is End of the Road by Home Free. Yeah, my first Home Free song, I heard it like three days ago. I never even knew this band existed. I thought they were called the Men of Constant Sorrow, but <laughs> that was see? the name of the song. You, you see that? You see that? So what that basically means that he about to have his mind blown, son. Yeah, I'm ready. No cap. I hope it's good. I hope it's not garbage, but we'll see. I I have my favorites, and I, I want to hear, after this joint, I just want to hear which one is your favorite dude on the, um, in, in the band. And I, I'm going to tell you who, who my joint like is. This. The band. The, uh, the, the one who sounds like the door, like Darth Vader. All of them can do that. Really? Even the one who sings the he can do that. Like, every single one of them can do the high and the low, and it's crazy. Well, I don't know if the lead singer can. I haven't heard the lead singer do it yet. We'll see. I haven't. That, I think that's Joe Rez's is, uh, favorite, but yeah. All right, let's go. We belong together, and you know that I'm right. Why do you play with my heart? We'd be forever Said it never die How could you love me And leave me And never Say goodbye See he started say out Say goodbye Oh the name I know this song He said Cause I can't sleep at night uh, That Hey. I forgot the rest. <laughs> ah, see, that was Nate that he started off with. Nate's, Nate um, starts it off with uh, Boys and Men, and that's the joint that he started off with. And then, and I can't sleep at night without holding you tight. Each time I'm crying, you wake up and cry. That's um, Con, um, 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 Juan Ye. So, um, But the guy, the reason why I stopped it, because the one with the beard... He really has the most laid back type of men, um, personality on boys. I mean, on, on home free. So when I first heard him sing that joint the way he did, he was still relaxed and everything. But wait until the end of this joint. Yeah, he was pretty relaxed when he just sang Ooh. it. He wasn't like doing too much. Yeah, he wasn't. He was just giving it to you smooth because that's how you're supposed to do. But now my man right here, the lead singer, he about to do Wanye joint. I think Wanye or Sean is next. I think it's Wanye. Okay. Leave me and never say goodbye. Oh, I can't sleep at night without holding you tight. Yeah. Girl, each time I try, I just break down and cry. The pain in my head, oh, I'd rather be dead. <laughs> It's coming, God. It's, it's, it's coming. Pause. It's coming. See, because you you heard that part right there. But one thing that we're not giving credence to is the fact that they have absolutely no music. Yeah, they don't sound it. like they have music. Yeah, they're crazy with it. No kissing. They and go then, hard. And then the guy that's doing the beatboxing part, um, the beatboxing part, he's doing um, mics low. Doom, doom, doom. doom. Like he's doing the drums, but he's also doing the bass of the um of the um I belong to you. These guys are OC. If y'all don't know what that means, it means they're out of control. That's a good thing. Yeah, these guys are they vicious. Belong to me. I belong to you. Girl, I know you really love me. You just don't realize. Never been there before, it's only 
your first time Maybe I'll forgive you mm -hmm. Maybe you why they did it man is because um back in the day um Jesus boys Christ. to men boys to men was one of the serious singing groups they was one of the serious singing groups you're a little too culture for me man i'm i'm just I'm, I'm, how do they know this because boys to men was like the most was at one point the biggest singing group in the world like literally, they was the biggest singing group in the world at one point, black, white, or other. But what happened is they crossed over much easier than a Jodeci, than a Silk, than a um, Intro, than a Guy, than um, you know um, any of them. Any of them bands back in the day, they crossed over much better than them, and then they allowed other bands to study them and cross back over. That's how you got the NSYNCs and the 98 Degrees. Those are the white groups like the Justin Timberlakes. And uh, they started to like um, be able to capture, capture the black audience because boys and men were able to cross over to the white audience with the same type of flavor. And it, now they're in that bag right there. They're mm. like, we're doing this right here real easy. And it's smooth, man. It's smooth as... It's smooth. If you listen to the words in this joint, I know they're not here for the words. I mean, I know we're, we're, we're discussing how great they sound. But at the end of the day, think about the words, man. The words is simply saying that the level of um, the level of emotional maturity that the girl has in the relationship is not the same as the level of the um, the, the emotional maturity of the man. And he's saying, look, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, fault you for being where you are in this relationship. I'm just going to teach you how to do it. He said, I'm not even going to get mad at you, but what you about to do is come to my bed and baby, just don't let me go. I'm about to show you how to love me. <laughs> he said, I'm about to show you how to love me, man. That's, that's what he's doing to me. And they are able to trans like to, to just get that message across in the most smooth way. Okay. I ain't gonna keep stopping the guys. Or this time instead, just come to my bed and baby, just don't let me down. Oh, we come to the end of the road. Still, I can't let go. It's unnatural. You be. that bass do that right there honestly i like the bass the bass is one of my favorites in the band i mean in this group but that lonely lonely that was a little off a little bit um not off obviously it was on because they sing on key and all this other stuff i'm just talking about the mood and the vibe they decided to do something different that didn't fall for me it fell for, I'm sure it fell for a lot of the home free guys, but how did that, how did that feel for you when he came in there? Because you heard the regular song before. So when he came in there, said, lonely. I mean, I get what you're saying. So lonely. Technically, it didn't match the vibe of the song. Like, usually uh, that part is supposed to kind of go up. Yes. And that kind of brought it down. But it was kind of cool. Like, I think it was kind of cool. It was kind of different. Yeah, see? You see that? See? I thought it was kind of cool because, like, they kind of switched it up, put their own little joint in it. On a little seasoning, on a little adobo, on a little yeah. seasoned salt on that bad boy. Huh? Usually, part like that, the main singer would sing it. 
Cause that would he he kind of brings the tone up. Yeah. But yeah. I get why they did it with the bass. That was kind of cool though. Yeah. Well, you'd be surprised. The more you check out Home Free, you're gonna see that the bass is one of the people who have the most range in the entire group. That guy that said lonely. He can go high. That guy. Oh my! He has a amazing voice. Okay, let's get it. Lonely. So that one little piece, they said, you know what, we leave that out so we can do everything else. You know kind of I mean? disrespectful how good they did. I'm not gonna lie, I feel kind of disrespected. <laughs> you gotta think, wow. they're taking a Black History song, one of the best songs in Black History, and y'all just gonna come. Imagine if we did. Imagine we got, uh, we made Young Thug or uh, Jay Z do a Bohemian Rhapsody or something. I don't even know. It's just Listen. disrespectful, like. Hey. Hey, I don't know. I, I loved it, man. Why? Because honestly, I would much rather I look into you and just so y'all understand what he's saying. So that y'all can really, really, really get get to understand what he's saying. He's letting y'all know that this song right here is one of the biggest songs in the black community. Period. I'm talking about of all time. So to have a young white group hit it like that and still be able to kill it hey. is a little bit disrespectful. <laughs> but here's my thing. Here's my thing. I would think it would be disrespectful if they didn't take it that seriously and they, they didn't kill, that joint. kill it. Like if they were just half-assing it and had all these views and then people be like, oh, they're so great and they're so wonderful. And you listen to them and they're like, man, nah, that would be disrespectful. The fact I get that it. they... Like, they did such a good job. They did an amazing job, man. Shout out to them guys, bro. They gotta let me join a song. I'm free. Recruit me. Hey, I, I, yeah, I'm too old for it. Maybe when I was 16, 17, I would've been able to fit right in, for real. Please. I would've been able to run it. One song. For real. Y'all hear that Home Free? One Please. song. JoJo want to collab with y'all, man. LFI JoJo want to collab with Home Free. Y'all heard it here first on LFI Family. That's what we talking about. Doing big things in 2022. Okay. Yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. If you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van. And I am JoJo. And we are all the LFI Family. Till we die, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love y'all, man. I'll talk to y'all later.